708-831-1031. This is Sarah Gallagher for the VVX Chicago Songwriters Show. Tonight, we have with us live in the VVX studios, singer-songwriter Mike Peace. Mike has three independently released albums. One is a Christmas album entitled The Peace of Christmas, which we've been listening to over this last month. The second is called These Wings Were Made to Fly, and the third is called Reflections of a Dream, which, in my opinion, is a compilation of pop tunes. Welcome, Mike. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Well... Mike, let's get right down to it. How long have you been a singer-songwriter? Uh, I think we just figured out 28 years. Back in 1964, I started, so it's it's been a while. Have you always been involved in the Chicago music scene? I started out in Wisconsin, um, just doing and you know, working with a, a little band that I started myself. Kind of taught the other guys how to play, and and we uh, after the first week we had our first gig, so we progressed pretty fast. I'll say. Then we went on to uh, doing a road tour, which uh, encompassed from, uh, where the heck was it, <laughs> Colorado all the way out to Trenton, New Jersey. And then we went up to Greenland, the, uh, the wow. continent. So uh, we, we bounced around for about two years living out of suitcases and finally settled in the Chicago area because that seemed to be where most of the jobs that we were playing ended up being, you know. And uh, we ended up settling in with an agent here in Chicago, too, that kept us working in this area. That was a band, um, it sounds like. That's, yeah, that was a, it was a three, three, all the way to five pieces, depending on the, the year that we were working. Uh, it went through a lot of changes, but basically two of the guys stayed with me through almost all that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, about 1980, the, the band kind of fell apart there were less and less jobs due to uh probably rap music and and uh, disco and uh so then i went off on a a single business at that point where i was just uh working with guitar and i i made my own backup tapes in uh, Mm. my own studio and worked Mm -hmm. with them while i went out and played in the nightclubs it's easier to hire one person you know it's a lot less expensive Sure. You know, in the hard times that we were in. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's kind of where I am now, and just writing songs and and uh, trying to get them recorded and promoted. So you've actually had uh, a number of successes. Uh, you mentioned to me earlier the Dr. Demento show. You've you've been on a I guess a number of their albums or his albums I should say, and uh, I think the story you were saying about one of your songs on your second album was uh, was uh, done by Helen Reddy. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, one called Riding White Horses uh, almost was done by the Letterman, and then uh, some at some point. Helen Reddy had heard our album release of it. Uh, my band put out two albums too, and eleven forty fives. And uh, at one point, she heard the uh, the song and did it on the Johnny Carson show. And it uh, we didn't didn't see much money from that as far mm-hmm. as royalties or anything, but it was actually pl- she actually did play it and. And we're real excited about that. That, that is exciting. Yeah. Uh, now, the song we're about to listen to is called I Want to Tell You, and that is on your third album called Reflections of a Dream. And tell us the story about this song. Pretty okay. great. Well, uh, the bass player and I have still kept in contact, and I keep him updated on what I'm doing as far as music. And he uh, he still writes songs and sends me tapes and vice versa. He's uh, He lives out in California. And he's an artist, a painting artist out there. And uh, he had some contacts with a lot of the artists out in L.A. And he got to know Roy Orbison's manager and gave my tape to him. And his manager listened to it while Roy was out on on the road tour this the last time that he did tour. And when uh, Roy actually, well, actually, actually, I don't know if Roy actually did hear the song, but he, the manager t- had told Denny that when uh, he got off tour that he, would, he was planning on doing the, uh, that particular song. And uh, I thought the song, after I, I found out this, I thought, boy, that song is perfect for Roy. So I think so, too, from listening to it. Uh, and, well, the famous How It Ended. 
Yeah, we all know how it ended. Roy never got came home from the tour. He ended up dying while he was out there. Hmm. And so there went my song. <laughs> A, 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 another uh, near miss for you. I know you've had a few of them. Uh, that's uh, that seems to be the saga of a lot of songwriters. It's just you know you keep out there, you keep out there. It comes keep... so close sometimes, uh -huh. and then, then it just falls apart. And so we we just keep keep trying, keep, keep trying. Well, and... you have uh, gotten further than a lot of songwriters in 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 that level of success. So I think uh... in that level of just missing it. Huh? <laughs> To, to even get that close, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, to get music even considered by a lot of major artists is, is very difficult. Right. So I congratulate you on that. And certainly at the Chicago Songwriter Show, we want to support you as best we can uh, in airing your music so that general listeners can listen to it. And you do have three independent albums that they can purchase if they'd like. Uh, so let's hear the song that uh, Roy Orbison is probably singing in heaven. How's that? That sounds good. Yeah. All right. It's called I Want to Tell You, and it's by singer songwriter Mike Peace, who is here with us live in the studio. of a dream that song is called I want to tell you Mike Roy Orbison I think he he's really he really missed something there I think so I think we all did actually I I, uh, I really miss Roy Orbison I was glad when he was 
finally making a comeback, and mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping to hear a lot more from him. So it's too bad, you know. That's the way things go sometimes. Yeah. Who Who else do you see? Uh, do you think might like to uh, do that song? Do you have any other artists in mind? I really didn't have any anybody in particular in mind when I, mm -hmm. you know, wrote it. Uh, I just write a bunch of them and then you listen to them and, and try to think, you know, that oh that's that'd be good for so and so or you know. But I really didn't have any of the songs I write. I don't think of a particular artist when I'm doing it. Um, sometimes you listen to uh, some other uh, song and that gives you ideas, you know, and, and you kind of kind of model your song after it. Um, I like David Bowie and and some of those things. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, one of the songs on, on the album, I was trying to gear toward David Bowie. Uh, that was one called Music Lover. Okay. But, uh, well, what's next for you, Mike? We're gonna, I'm just going to keep writing songs and keep recording them. I've got a studio in my house in the, in the basement, so I've got a whole rack of equipment there, uh, echo chambers and, and a four-track reel-to-reel -reel recorder. And a mixed down machine for for making masters, and, and uh, I'm all set to just keep cranking out the songs as fast as I can write them. So I'll keep doing that and uh, keep bringing them to you and let let you play them. And, Great. Well, we'd love to do that. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good. Well, Mike uh, Peace will be with us in the studio answering the phone lines for about the next ooh, 35 minutes or 30 minutes or so. So if you'd like to call him and talk to him about his music or anything else you want to talk about. I sure appreciate it. You know, he'd love to talk to you, absolutely, at 708-831-1031. Mike, thanks very much for being with us tonight, and good luck. It's been a pleasure. We look forward to hearing more music from you in the future. Thank you.